Alright, so what's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be playing the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is one it which is my number one favorite game in the entire world. We're going to launch it up. I have a new um account for my YouTube. That is. So we're gonna get going on it. So Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is completely open world, and the reason why I was on my home screen is because if I remember right, it just takes you directly into the game, yeah. Here we go, I've replayed this game once. I've played it one time, and then I played it again and finished it. I've never gotten all the shrines, we're gonna 100% this game this time. We're gonna go through all the shrines, um, get all the side missions done. Let me see if I can turn it up a bit for you guys. <sighs> Sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to get in a comfortable spot. There he is. No shirt and everything. I like the art style for this game as well. Oh, I wasn't trying to blow into the mic, guys. I was trying to blow dog hair off my tone switch. Because if you guys didn't know, I got two cute and wonderful dogs. And here we go into some gameplay. So, you use the right, the left stick to move around, the right stick to turn the camera, pause to click on this where you can save, go through your inventory, adventure log where you got memories, you got some side missions, and I can't remember what the other things are, but I'll remember when we get there. So, let's activate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Alright, so we got the Nintendo Switch. I'm just kidding, it's a Sheikah Slate. So the Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there is something familiar about it. Alright, so we're gonna go through these doors right here, where you will find um, two chests here. So, in the first one we got well-worn trousers. These old trousers are threadbare and spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short though. And then here you'll get the shirts. The old shirt, a thin shirt made long ago, it's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. So, it's a little bit smaller, small for us, but we're going to equip it, and now we Link is going to look like this. So, come through here, and you'll be able to use this Sheikah Slate right here. up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Now, I'm sure loads of people have played this game already, but I just want to play it because I love this game so much. It was the first game I got with my Switch, and I played hours and hours on end on this game. It's such a great game. And these videos will be about 30 minutes long because this game is an absolutely long game. And you can just do whatever you want in the game. 
There's objectives, except for you can get to them at any time you want and go after whichever ones you want at any time. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Alright, so... We're able to leave the Shrine of Resurrection now. So, run up here, hold B to run, then use the X button to jump, and then climb. Run through here, and you'll get this cutscene right here. So, everything you see here, you can go to. That volcano all the way off in the distance, you can go to Hyrule Castle, you can go to... Um, that forest down there, not very exciting to go to, but you can go there. All of that. Alright, so now we have control over Link again. We're, now, we are in the open world part of the game. Obviously, it's going to have us go through a tutorial where we go down there. But then past there, it's completely open world, and you can go and do anything your heart desires. So, over here, we're I'm going to search over here, because I know there's some few items back here. So, we got a stick, tree branch. One branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much f damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. So you can switch the items um, with the right arrow and use the right stick to change. So over here we got some mushrooms. Sorry, not playing Minecraft here. But I do want to play some Minecraft on the channel here soon. Um, got this here, got some Highland Shrooms, got some, another one here, got another one here, and then you can, I remember there's somewhere you could climb back here, yeah, right up here, sorry, I can't, I'm seeing as well as you guys can, so yeah. So, we can push this boulder. It won't go towards the old man, even though I wish it would. And it will start rolling down, and I'll go down in that canyon down there. Just roll down there. You just get to watch it go down. So. Run down here. There's a tree with apples here, which I'm gonna get the apples right now. So we got a baked apple here. Um, body blah. I didn't. I didn't want to start talking to this guy. Bye. I'm gonna take this baked apple. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my big baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk to him. Yes, this is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Yeah, we missed a whole bunch of dialogue when I started first trying to talk to him. So, um, right here you can see the Temple of Time. That temple there long ago, it was the site of many cere sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Alright, so we're going to do some cooking here. So, um... I'm just going to cook some Highland Shrooms now. So, if you place it all around the fire like this. Okay, I'm going to be interrupted by Zelda now. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Alright. So, check Sheikah Slate using the dash button. So, let's go to our inventory again. Hold. I'm going to take all these Highland Shrooms and just 
drop it here. It's all going to go in a circle, and you'll get Toasty Highland Shroom. A Highland Shroom toasted to perfection. The taste and fragrance are amplified, restoring more health to its consumer. All right. So I'm going to take this torch here. The torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you pull it, put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask, are you using the planet as a weapon? Innovative, however, that is probably best used to light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. Many bo beasts roam the land past this point. If you can take my axe with you, if you, you can take my axe with you, if you please, assuming you can find it. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your targets on them. I can already see his axe. Um, I don't know if you guys can, but I already see it. Well, obviously you guys can. I'm sure you guys can. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my torch and light this thing on fire. Make my own campfire. Cool. Alright, let's switch to our tree branches for now. Um, got another tree with apples. You know what? I'm gonna go back to the cooking area and cook everything. I don't want to talk to the old man, so I'm just going to cook by myself. So, Highland Shrooms being cooked now. Alright. We will take the all the apples now and drop it into the flames here. Just so we have uh, better food. Because it's a lot better now. It will do uh, more, it will restore more health when we eat it. So, I'm going to drop it here. Oh, I don't know why I picked it up then. Alright. Cooking with Dog Torpedo. Let's go. So, the apple's going to be cooked. Oh, my gosh. Alright. I am having troubles with one of the most simplest parts of the entire game. Cooking. So, got both our now baked apples now. So, we're going to come up here so we can get um, a, what is it called? Um, one of the, yeah, ha, you found me, huh? You're not has to. You can see me. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run, has to, please return this to him. Oh, okay, yeah, Quark seed, sorry. Oh, my friends are hiding in lots of different places, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're going to head back to land now. All right. So... There's nothing down there, if I remember right. And I think I'm going to take on this guy right over here. Actually, let's just continue with the where the path tells us to go for now. Because there is a... Um, one that I want to fight and kill so I can get stuff. So, there isn't any sticks around. Oh, wait, never mind, there is. So, how I find this boss fight... I mean, not boss fight. Um, this fight, uh, easiest to do, is just by... Okay, I'm going to take these Highland Shrooms. Break it against his head. Alright, um, I'm not going to waste the rest of this. Come here, boy. Alright, then we can uh, take his tree branch, take... Bokoblin Fang and Bokoblin Horn. The Bokoblin Horn is a lot more um, common to find than the Bokoblin um, Fang. But there isn't any more Bokoblins down the path, so we're going to come down here and take on this guy. Boom! 
Alright. Alright, my tree branch broke, but now we got a vocal vocal club, which is gonna be a lot better than a tree branch. Um, I'm gonna head up here. Cause I know we have an enemy we can fight. And an item we can get. Pretty sure these are the Hylian Trousers. Yeah, Hylian Trousers. So, now this is going to be a lot better of clothing than the, obviously, the well-worn trousers. But, whatever. So, now, before we continue on, there isn't really anything else we can do. Um, except for go there, except for we can get a few items. Actually, 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 actually. Let me come over here. So, I want to take down some of the Boca Blend camps, and then I'm going to head over there, and then I'm going to end off the video. But, we do have some Boca Blends here, and I'm pretty sure this one is the one that will take them both out. Because one of them won't, but then the other one will take them out. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Um, I'm gonna push this one. Hopefully, it'll hit into the one vocal blend. Never mind. All right. And take this vocal vocal club. Um, gonna take this vocal blend horn and this vocal club. So, um, I'm pretty sure we have another one somewhere around here, but, oh, okay, yeah, 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 over here, never mind, over here, we got some archers doing some bow practice, we need to take him out, them out, but first, I'm going to head over here, um, we're going to take these guys out by rolling this boulder, and smacking it straight into the TNT here. Boom. Boom, baby, boom. All right. Then we got, um, hang on a second. We got a barrel here, which we can break. But, all right, so I'm going to bring out my, so we got the seared steak. I'm going to bring out my woodcutter's axe and break this which holds nothing um so then we can take on this gu these guys so these guys are an essential part of the game this will get you your fir first bow and arrow so i'm gonna try and sneak up never mind uh, i messed up miss clicked the controls so you can do a sneak strike on these guys. Well, at least one of them. Hopefully. Without being caught by the other one. Okay, I messed it up. Oh, I broke it. Alright, so... I'm gonna take this. Book of blow, bow. Bow. And I'm gonna head over here and take the five arrows. Gonna take the... Boko blend horns, and then we got some um, arrows just lying around. Let me take this. Got an arrow up here. I had one back here. Saw one just right here. Never mind, it was just a flower. I don't know why it looked like a arrow. Um, gonna take some more arrows. Take. How much do we have? We have 12. I think that's uh, about enough for the next mission. We only need one arrow for this next part, but I'm going to head on over here. And if you can sneak a bit, you can come over here. See that vocal blend right up there? You can come over here, pull out your bow and arrow. Boom. And then 
charge over here without being spotted. Hopefully you guys can do that. I think they must have heard me. No. Oh, one of them did. They did. Crap. Alright, run away, run away, run away, because I want to show you guys this. So just climb up there. Like that. Yeah, I'm just going to crouch up here for now. So, ah, oh, they're going to come up here, aren't they? So, hopefully we can jump. Nope, never mind. Dang Alright, so I think I've gotten out of their way. So, they're just going to head back in now. And I should be able to climb back up the letter and boom and then it will take them all out except for one which this one will take you out in one hit so you want to be careful with them And it will take them all out. So Vocal Blend Guts is the most rarest you can get. They only come from the blue ones. And let's take the Spiked Vocal Club. Which um, I think I'll actually save for some boss fights. Take the Vocal Blow Bow. Some arrows here. And you'll get a chest after you finish this. And get five fire arrows, which um, it will blow up like the. If you shot it with a normal arrow, like the explosive things that we like did the boulders at, it won't do anything to them, but if you use a fire arrow, it will make them explode. So, that's good to know for you guys. Um, so we got a guy with a shield, and I'm going to show you guys a little something that you guys can do with the shields. Just need to make myself my way up here. And you will have this guy here. So, this guy should not be too hard. You just need to, um, get him in an area... Get behind him, wait for him to do a jump attack on you. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there. So, it shouldn't be too hard. I kind of messed up at some of those parts, but should not be too hard. So, got a traveler sword. And I'm going to show you guys something you can do with the shield. So I'm going to come over here. Take the shield out like this. And then... Hang on a second. You can slide down. Just like that. Alright, we got some arrows here as well. From the archers. That I slid past. But... We're going to come over here now, and I'm going to end it off. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe by hitting the big red button down below, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.